order of operations for exponents. Okay. Number one, eliminate the parentheses by using the power to power, the power rules. Number two, make negative exponents positive by flipping. One you might slip in here. Apply product rule to denominator and numerator alone. Then, if you have any negative exponents, make them positive by flipping, okay? Now, number three, if necessary, apply product rule again. Number four, at this point, apply quotient rule. And lastly, simplify numbers. Okay, let's look at a more complex problem that will need this to be applied. All right, here it goes. Two to the third, y to the fifth, x to the sixth, z to the negative two over uh, six to the fourth, y to the negative 2, x to the 5th, and z to the 6th. Let's make that all to the 4th power, okay? So, first step, eliminate the parentheses by applying the power rule. So, my power rule is going to have 3 times 4 is 12, so this is 2 to the 12th power y to the 5 times 4, which is 20, x to the 6 times 4, which is 24, z to the negative 2 times 4, which is negative 8, okay, and then I have 6 to the 4 times 4, which is 16, and y to the negative 2 times 4, which is negative 8, x to the 5 times 4, which is 20, and z to the 6 times 4, which is 24. So, as you can see, we've got some pretty big exponents there. We also have some negative exponents. So, we do not have anything on top that has more than one of the ba same bases, the same on the bottom. Now, on this one, we might want to flip all our negative exponents, or if it doesn't bother you and you're not afraid of losing your negatives, we can go ahead and work with them that way. I think we'll flip it. So this one's going to flip up, and this one's going to flip down. So we're going to end up with 2 to the 12th times y to the 20 times y to the 8th times x to the 24 
over 6 to the 16 and x to the 20 and uh, z to the 24 and z to the 8. Notice how this one came down and this one went up. Now we can apply my product rule. Notice there's a product rule here and a product rule here. So I have 2 to the 12th over y to the 28 and x to the 24. On the bottom I have 6 to the 16 and x to the 20 and z to the 32. Okay? I have one quotient rule to do right here. I'm going to have 2 to the 12th over y to the 28 and then I'm going to have x to the 24 minus 20. See that? And that's going to give me x to the 4 and I have 6 to the 16 and z to the 32. Now, you can do this part on the calculator or we can choose to break that 6 up into something different. 2 to the 12th, y to the 28, x to the 4th, over that 6 is 2 times 3 to the 16th power, and z to the 32nd. This part is all done. All the variables are done. But notice I have 6 is 2 times 3. So now I can apply my power rule again and have 2 to the 16th and 3 to the 16th. So that is going to give me 2 to the 12th, y to the 28th, x to the 4th, over 2 to the 16th times 3 to the 16th. Okay, I'm going to subtract my 12 down here, and that's going to give me y to the 28th, x to the 4th, over, and on the bottom, oh, I've got my z to the 32nd here. I have my z to the 32nd, but this is going to give me 2 to the 4th, which is the number 16, times 3 to the 16th power. And you'll want to do that on a calculator, so I'm just going to write this down this way. So, as you can see, your answer is pretty complex when you get there. So the order of operations for exponents keeps you on track working through to get this whole thing accomplished. Okay.